Well, it's been a tough year for so many, as we mentioned, for so many businesses across the valley. In fact, a popular blues venue in Phoenix hasn't made any money since it closed its doors nine months ago. But thanks to the generosity of community members, the owner of Rhythm Room, which has raised enough money to stay afloat and catch up on their bills. A rebound Arizona's Claudia Rupsich spoke to the owner who says he's been overwhelmed by this support. The Rhythm Room on Indian School in Phoenix has been quiet since March. That's when it closed its doors due to COVID-19. On a regular night, you'd hear roots and blues music performed by local or traveling artists and bands. We've had some of the greatest uh, rockabilly and roots country acts. Bob Coratore, musician himself, opened the club 29 years ago. Since the pandemic, he's had some relief from the government, but says that money ran out and the bills have kept coming. We owed some back sales tax, property taxes coming due. There's a lot of stuff like that. Last week, he realized he had to do something to keep his place open. He created a GoFundMe hoping to raise $15,000. In four days, he's gotten close to $35,000 in donations. People are putting in donations from $5 uh, to $5,000. It's been unbelievable. So, and every one of those counts is just, it's, it's really beautiful. Barbara Ornalis and Steve Huey are two of many who donated. They're longtime regulars at the room. It's brought me so much joy. I've met many of friends there and I've seen, I've, a lot of the musicians I've seen there have become lifelong friends. And I just wanted to support the place that really gave me happiness. You can see people on their way up. You can see people that used to be in arenas and now they play in Bob's place and they bring in their friends. Corridor says he's felt isolated the past several months, not able to host musicians or even perform at his venue. But now he feels the love and he's grateful. You're like, well, I hope people still want the rhythm room. I hope the rhythm is still relevant. And then having this need and having such a great amount of support. It's very reaffirming. It really shows me that what we're doing has meaning. He hopes to reopen in the summer if it's safe to do so. His goal is to celebrate their 30th anniversary in September. In Phoenix, Claudia Rupsich, ABC 15, Arizona. I think Bob's going to owe a few people a beer when he reopens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it can't go away. Such a part of part of Arizona.